we all know the graph of x square if we add something here then the graph move towards left and if we subtract something then it move towards right similarly if we add something to the x square then the graph will move upward and if we subtract it it will move downward but this video is not about shifting it's about complex numbers when we look at the graph of x square plus 1 we can clearly see that the graph has no solution because the graph does not cross the x axis but there is a problem because according to the fundamental theorem of algebra polynomials of degree n have exactly n roots and our polynomial has the highest power of 2 so we should have two roots but here our graph seems to disagree with the fundamental theorem of algebra which might be a problem what fundamental theorem of algebra telling us that there are two solution to these equations which we plug into our function and we get zero out where could these two missing roots be in our one dimension line we can see all numbers positive negative fraction and even irrational number too but for representing the complex number we need a whole new dimension which is up and down to the number line Similarly, we need z axis to add a new dimension to this plane. So after adding this new dimension to our plane, we can clearly see that there are two solutions to this graph. Now let's find the roots of this quadratic equation, y equal to ax square plus c. Let x equal to p plus ita q is one root of this equation. So we put x into the equation. After simplifying, we get, but q is not equal to zero because our roots are imaginary and a is also not equal to 0 so p must be equal to 0 from this equation we get y equal to minus a q square plus c when we plot this graph we can see that this equation intersect xz plane so these are two complex roots for this equation if we rotate the graph by 90 degree and then 180 degree we can see that both the graphs are same Similarly, we can find the complex root for any quadratic equation. We just have to rotate the graph by 180 degree about x axis and then 90 degree about y axis. And roots are found when our graph meets the xz plane. 